Hello everyone, working on the Mercury 9. I didn't really update this part very well, so we're going to have to catch it near the end. I'm building three different lighting circuits for the groundwork in the diorama. This red one here is going to be the war aircraft warning light that goes on the um, radar tower. Way out of scale, I know I'm going to use a fiber optic for that, but this is the source for the fiber optic. These two are going to be warning lights for anyone going on to the um, runway from the roadway. Because the C-130 is on there taxiing, we don't need a truck running into the C-130. So these are going to be warning lights for that. i got two more circuits to build, so I need to get back to work. One thing real quick. I went out in the garage and I had a big huge box. A category 5 Ethernet cable. And I stripped some wires out of that cable. They're copper. They're twisted pair of copper wire. All my work so far with these lighting, with this lighting, has been basically with aluminum wire. And then I get this copper wire, and the copper wire is a joy to solder. An absolute joy. So, if you get copper wire, use it. It heats up real quick, it solders real quick, it holds real well, great to work with. I've got a whole huge case of it in the garage. I'm going to switch hang near everything over to copper. The only thing that won't be copper is my power leads because I want to stay consistent with them. So I don't have, you know, like one brown and white is positive and negative on one circuit and then a blue and white is positive and negative on another circuit. Okay? So I'm going to get busy on this other one. I'll be back in a little bit. Alright everyone, you can see the blinky in the background. This is circuit number two done. This is for the aircraft warning lights. Okay? Now all these circuits I'm making, you can find them in my 555 and 4060 timer videos. This is a 555 and I just adjusted the timer marks to get it where it's doing that. Okay? Uh, I was at an airport about three weeks ago, and that reminds me exactly of how they were strobing on the aircraft. Okay, I'm going to use it, Mr. C-130, right here, with one of these L fibers to drive something here. Let me see if I can get it on there and show you real quick. Apparently, it's, and that's not the one I'm looking for. Trying to do something that requires three hands with two hands is fun. That's the one I'm looking for. Let me set this down and get this arranged properly and show you. Okay. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. If I do a zoom, I know the camera will pick that up. So let me do a zoom. And now show you the top of. Hey, it's I got wires everywhere. Can you see that? Yeah, there you can. That's going to look very good when I trim that down after painting. Love that little lamp just going beep, beep, beep on the top of the C-130. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. I got one more circuit to do soldering for. And then I can start doing the groundwork. I, I got all three circuits done. They're sitting up here blinking. I'm going to kill this light so we can get to it. Here's the first circuit board's lights. Second circuit board's lights. Let me put the camera remote down. Okay, that just shut off. There's a short in that board. Yeah, it did. We're going to have to find that short. It's not the first time I've come across a short in the board. Yeah, the orange quit working. There's definitely a short in this board. We'll find it. I'm not happy to see there's a short because one of them quit working. And then we got this guy. 
One thing about this that you have to worry about is, ooh, I got another light to quit working. I wonder what's up with that. I had that problem when I was doing my test circuits too. I'll have to find out what's up with that. And see, now that orange one's working. Maybe there's more than one short that I don't know about. Yeah, there's another short because now I got them all working. Okay, you can see the red one's working over there now. I don't know what's up. They got some tiny shorts somewhere, probably just how they're soldered on the underside of the boards. So if I glue them down properly, I won't have that issue. But I got all the circuits done. So this thing's going to have plenty of little lights blinking on and off all over the place. I'm going to get busy. I've got other things that need to be done, and I'm running short on time. I have to be at work in an hour, and... Here's what's left, just so you know where I'm at. It's Thursday at 4 p.m. Contest deadline is Sunday at midnight, Saturday at midnight. Here's what's left. I haven't painted the base. I haven't mounted anything on the base. All my little trucks, cars, tanks, forklifts are unpainted. The um, C-130 needs a little bit more work. i got to glue down this fiber, which I'm going to do before I go to work. That's real, real simple. I can't use super glue, though. Keep that in mind. Glue down that fiber. It needs to be put together. The Osprey has not even been built. I want to build two or three more tanks. Uh, the warehouse hasn't been built. I haven't painted up or put together the uh, swing arm for the Mercury 9. I've got some wood cylinders that need to be sanded and finished and primed, and that worries me. That's the one that worries me the most. I need to be sanded. Um, if I can use Tamiya paints, that doesn't worry me, but if I can't use Tamiya paints, that's a problem. So I might just cover them red putty and sand them. <laughs> Bondo putty. Um, then i got to put everything together. I'll run a whole bunch of fiber optics in the base and put in all the photo edge fences. Forgot that part and scratch build a guard shack. Yeah, so i got a lot of work to do, but i got two days to do it in, all Friday and most of Saturday in half of today so it's possible I only have to work for two hours today and I don't work Friday or Saturday and with a wonderful supporting wife I love you Nelly I gotta say that with a wonderful supporting wife I couldn't have done this otherwise because all I've done is work on this thing alright I'm gonna get going I got plenty to do talk to you guys later right. brief update I've been working furiously. Um, I've only got a little bit more than 24 hours left. I've got 36 hours left. There you go. Made a radar dish that comes with the Mercury 9 Photo Etch upgrade set from Paragraphics. This was a joy to put together, except up in here, these parts, the directions were not very clear on how to do it, and I had to look, find some photos and look at it. Other than that, I like this. This is going to definitely add something to the model. Okay? Now, I never fully explained something else. The C-130 I'm building comes from a company. It's a French company. They do ship uh, resin upgrades. Uh, La Arsenal. Okay? L-A-R-S-E-N-A-L dot com. Okay? They sell a whole bunch of resin upgrade kits, and you're going to see some of this stuff in a little bit. I'm working on the Hercules, and let me pick it up. She's sitting like this because I can't set her down otherwise. I'm going to have to do a teeny bit of seam work on this tail fin. I may not do it. I may do it. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it. I already did the seam work around the wings, okay? This model has zero blemishes. I mean, it is a very, very nice little kit. Zero blemishes. The seam where the wing joins the um, body is really bad. You can see how much, I mean, you can see that red putty line there. But a little bit of work and you can get it. It's not too, too horribly bad. Um, now, what I'm working on now, since I've got that done, is I'm working on the landing gear 
and I don't know how well I'm going to get some of this done because it's kind of a mess. It gave me two options. I can put the landing gear in or not. It came with parts to close the doors or it came with photo etch doors that you're supposed to bend. Yeah, I'm supposed to bend these doors. So this will be interesting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get working on this. Here's the direction sheet for the whole airplane, just in case you're wondering. All right. Oh, and one other thing. When it did come, the wings were not squared up. So I tried the hot water trick. It didn't work. So I got the heat gun. That worked. Just be really careful with the heat gun. Go look at my um, video on the Thunder Child where I actually lit the thing on fire with the heat gun. I only had the heat gun on it for one second. Also, be careful with fiber optic with the heat gun. That only touched that for a second and it melted it. But I got the wings all straightened back out, so I'm happy with that. So just be very careful with heat guns if you go to use them. Okay? Working on landing gear. Be back in a little bit. Alright, one other thing I want to show you guys what comes with the... Um, Hercules. It comes with two of these and I've already pulled one tire off before I said to myself, oh, I'm going to show this to them. It comes with two little resin sets, extra cast resin. And you can see those attachment points on this. They're very, very small, tiny, and fine. Okay, this right here is the front tire. There's two back tires. That's the cover if you want to put it in flight mode. Those are the propeller covers. Okay, comes with two of those. Also comes with a photo edge set. Now I've already pulled these out. These were the landing gear holders. The front landing gear holder is right there and you put tires on either side of it. I mean, th these things are in tiny, delicate parts. You have two of the front landing gear holders right here, up here, and up here. These are the landing, rear landing gear doors. These are the front landing gear doors. These are the propellers themselves. I'm not going to use those propellers. I'm using clear plastic disc and a whirly pattern on the disc because this thing is taxiing in from being out. All right. And I've already put on two of the wheels. It goes on fairly nice. Okay. This side, I have the landing gear holder that was removed. I'll be back in a little bit once I get her together. I'm not going to put the props on until after she's painted. So we'll do that in a little bit. But she, need, she needs to be primered within the hour or I'm going to fall behind schedule. And I should be able to do that. This is going together really well. Well, I've done some work. This little thing, almost done. It's ready for primer though. Let's take a look at what I've done. You can see she has landing feet now if the camera, there we go. You see she has her landing gear. The rear ones were just slightly a pain because these brass pieces did not fit in the slots and I had to file them down and bend them. The front landing gear a real, real pain because they are tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, there's my fingernail. You can see they're tiny. There are two separate wheels there on a brass photo etch piece. And all of it's just absolutely tiny. They're on there. I don't want to touch it for a little while, so I'm going to go do something else. Work on something else. Might put the decals on the Super Singer because i got to do that today. Might not. We'll see. But I'm going to go do something else, like maybe eat some food for the first time today. It's 1 p.m. and I haven't eaten. All I've been trying to do is work on this, contrary to everyone who keeps trying to call me on the phone. This gets primered in 30 minutes. She's ready for primer. I will see if there's any bad spots on it once it hits the primer. I don't think there will be. Now, one thing I'm not doing is on the front, there are doors to go around those landing feet. I just check. They don't fit. So I'm just not going to put them. It looks like they close up afterwards. The gear come out and then they reclose. They don't fit. I'm not going to put them. I'm not going to mess with it. Now one other thing I noticed about this model is I have not seen one seam mark on the body of the seam 130. Not one. So I'm not sure what they're doing. But 
You need a 1350 C130 for some reason. This is not a bad plane, not a bad model. All right, I'm gonna set her down. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm gonna start working on something else. I have a checklist and they're listed by priority so I know what has to be done when. I'll be back in a little while.